And so the road to the Rugby World Cup 2015 starts here. Well, Joe Schmidt might suggest otherwise, but uh, while every Irish player has test experience, Warren Gatlin has gone for four new faces in the starting 15. Eli Walker, Tyler Morgan, Dominic Day and Ross Moriarty are all making their international debuts, but they do have the experience of the likes of Mike Phillips, James Hook and Richard Hibbard to guide them through. On his 30th appearance for Wales, Scott Williams captains the side in the centre. You have to think some of the players in this Ireland starting team are on last chance saloon for a place in the World Cup squad. Richard Strauss and Dunica Ryan will be hoping to put their hand up after struggling with injuries over the past year or so. But in the backs, Andrew Trimble and Keith Earls also make welcome returns. Jamie Heaslip captains the side on the day when he overtakes David Wallace as Ireland's most capped back row forward. Plenty of familiar names on both sets of benches there, as you can see. The roof is closed on a very hot day in August in Cardiff. A referee from New Zealand is Glenn Jackson, Pascal Gozier and Mathieu Reynaud from France are the touch judges. And Graham Hughes from England is our television match official. This is the first of four World Cup warm-up matches for Ireland and chances for players to stake a claim and a trip on the squad to England. Wales get us underway. The cleanest of strikes from the kickoff, but Rickard Strauss gets an early touch. One of the players itching, I suppose, to show Joe Schmidt what he can do, but he hasn't gone away despite his struggles with injury. Good take and a good first touch for Hallam Amos, the Dragons fullback. There for Mike Phillips. A little bit slow in behind it. James Hook is standing in the centre, throws a dummy. And a decent tackle goes in from Ian Henderson to put him down. This is his opposite number, Jake Ball, wearing the scrum cap. And the debutant Dominic Day. This is Club Rugby with Bath, his first international cap. Big day for him and the three others, as I mentioned. Jake Ball once more. Two second rows been asked to make the hard yards and Richard Hibbard picks it up and gets over that 10 metre line. Well, referee playing advantage to Ireland and a chance now. O'Donnell picks it off the ground. Owen Redden waiting for it. Referee gives the penalty, not rolling away. Interesting start. Yeah, and Wales uh, obviously looking to carry the ball quite a bit. They're uh, much publicised training camps both in Switzerland and Doha in the high temperatures out there uh, preparing them for this whether it'll be suitable preparation for the uh, tournament itself in in october september october in england that's another thing but uh, a lively start from wales high ball from james hook but paddy jackson lets it go dangerous one jordy murphy in the right place there for ireland felix jones decides to run it fergus mcfadden Released a bit of pressure. Play up to the 10 metre line now. Jack McGrath. Good clean out of the ruck. And they switch play to the blind side. Nice hands from Darren Cave. McFadden again. He should back himself here. The gap was opening up for him. Decided on the pass. Little throw from Redden. Redden has Earls outside him. Keith Earls with a step. And the pass is dropped at a critical stage. And we're going to go back for the first offence, which was the knock on. But that was a real opportunity, Ralph Keith. Well, they spotted the space down that short side very well and uh, initially executed brilliantly they executed the three to two and uh, well it was only at the death that Redden cutting back inside looking for the reverse pass couldn't hold it well survive get the scrum interesting to see how they get on here in that front row Mike Ross so much experience 50th cap for him today Rickard Strauss as well dangerous one and that one's lost forward and it's advantage to Ireland and is there any space on the right hand side can they get it out quick enough? Ross to like the scrum half. Darren Cave buries the head into the tackle and he's over that five metre line. Advantage over says the ref, they go blind. Anybody there for Ireland? Just held short. Redden again goes left. Chance for Heaslip. The captain's going to score. And he's going to march all the way in. Wales asleep at the wheel. Jamie Heaslip takes full advantage and the first try of the game goes to Ireland, Ralph. Well, it's sloppy play from Wales really in trying to execute their exit strategy they turned over possession handed it straight back to Ireland who took full advantage and had Wales stretched he slipped with the easy run in almost lost his footing there tackled by Justin Tipperick 
is cleaned out well. And again, shot down from Richard Hibbert, who just read that pass and made the tackle. Redden, look for the flat one. Darren Cave, he's lost it again, but the penalty comes in. And a hand in illegally against Scott Williams. So Jackson aiming for kick a goal here. Yes, three points for Ireland and for Paddy Jackson. That'll settle him down, Ralph. Absolutely, and uh, took responsibility and just slotted that as cool as you like. As Ireland get them all. Try and work their way over that 22 at the back with Rory Best. Wales struggling to stop Ireland. Referee say to be careful. You can see Jake or Dan Baker, even I should say, at the back trying to bring that one down. Redden, the pass back inside. Almost came off. Henderson. Redden once more looking for a quick ball. Jackson to Earls. Any room for Earls? Those feet are going to get him through. Or is he over the line? He can't get the ball down. He's held up, I think. Beautiful footwork from Keith Earls to create the space, Ralph. He just fell on his back. Yeah. Good line break from him. Just gets over, but he's held up in the process. And now Ireland have the scrum, an area they've been dominant in so far. Try for Cave. Oh, brilliant. Straight through that gap. All too easy for Ireland. And that's the second of the afternoon. It goes to Ulster's Darren Cave. Well, it's a training ground move, isn't it? And uh, again, just such a solid set piece at scrum time where Wales are in desperate trouble but it's a straight pop really and uh, the Welsh defence well they'll be asking questions there nobody gets a hand on them and uh, all too easy really and Warren and Gatlin won't be a bit happy with that Wales need to do something to try and sort out the problems at scrum time here because you can imagine Ireland just got to go for it again try and get the penalty anywhere out the back is good as far as Mike Phillips is concerned, here is Hook, drifts across the pitch. What a tackle from Andrew Trimble to Keith Earls. Well, this is a brilliant try for Ireland. Keith Earls will get the credit, Ralph, but that was all about the hit from Andrew Trimble. Absolutely, and, uh, well, poor old Eli Walker. It was so predictable and telegraphed that uh, the read was, well, it was made a bit easier. But good anticipation from Andrew Trimble. Keith Earls, he reaps the reward at the end of the day, and it was, uh, well, it was a canter in from him, wasn't it? And, but right here, as Walker connects, Trimble, and he's wide open when he's trying to collect that. It falls beautifully for Keith Earls, and uh, he gets the, the try, and with a simple conversion to come, Ireland just running away with this contest, and uh, as you say, Wales are going to have to do something. Eli Walker got the stuffing knocked out of him with that tackle from Andrew Trimble Andrew Trimble he can smile for that one as Wales try and find their way back into this game the 74,000 fans here most of whom are Welsh I should say scatter of Irish here and there Phoenix Jones kicks it ahead how much pace has he got enough to collect the ball Phoenix Jones is Trimble outside him Trimble backs himself for the corner no he can't get there foot was in touch well I tell you what there's only one team playing rugby at the moment absolutely and it's a comedy of errors really from Wales all over the park and uh, the mistakes well they're coming thick and fast now from Wales and Ireland maximum use out of the opportunities which you can see just trying to offload it wasn't done and Ireland very sharp and pouncing on any any loose passes as you see here Jones kicking ahead well, Ireland steal the line out again. It's going from bad to worse for Warren Gatlin's side. And Tommy O'Donnell buries his head to suck in a few defenders. Jamie Heaslip, who started off with the first drive for Ireland a long time ago now. They're going to go for another one here. Jackson with a pass in behind to Trimble. Ireland still have it. Henderson needs a bit of help. Options really all on the left now for Owen Redden. Jordy Murphy tackle went in from Moriarty and they're queuing up here Keith Earls put down 
gets over the five meter line and recycles the ball good stuff from him here's a chance for Strauss Redden once more Mike Ross just short doesn't score too many the big Leinster tight head Darren Cave already has one trying for two just a matter of time you feel if Ireland can move this one now Jackson McFadden surely it must be hands will do it oh big tackle went in from Eli Walker had to be though had to be and Ireland struggling to recycle here Scott Williams comes in but they're all offside well credit Eli Walker he's 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 trying at, at least he certainly stopped a, a certain try there and uh, good defense from the winger Mike Phillips the guilty man offside shot a goal from Paddy Jackson well and you're 22 points up why not take them on in the scrum where you've been so dominant here we see it Ralph yeah but it's good good defense here from Walker who bides his time bides his time makes the hit and of course Trimble well he was just slightly overrun another three points for Ireland from the boot of Paddy Jackson brings their first half tally to 25 Wales have nothing in reply so far Dominic Day went up as a, a decoy but ball goes to the front of the line out it's Jake Ball who carries Jack McGrath with a bit of help from Henderson to put him down penalty Wales in from the side well they have to go to the corner here now with four minutes to go to half time three points isn't going to reel in this Irish team at this stage well, the problem is winning the line out we're down here before ten minutes ago and Jordy Murphy stole the ball they've got to get this one right they have to get their set piece right absolutely and uh, their pack really the finger has to be pointed at the pack they're not up to it today for some reason well, maybe not good enough Warren Gatlin has said he's due to cut his squad by 11 players after this match and you would think uh, quite a few of those 11 are on the field as we speak this time they go to the front Tipperick over to Hibbard there is the first try for Wales it's taken 36 and a half minutes it's a training ground move and finally the line out pays off and Wales are on the board well it's more relief throughout the stadium than anything else because a 25 nil scoreline going in at the break but it's well worked here taken down Chipper coming around feeding Hibbard and no cover down that channel and uh, Strauss had to come in on Chipper with nobody covering his back and this con dominance by Ireland continues you might feel if you're in the Welsh bench you might like to stay there <laughs> don't pick me please don't want to be part of this so just over a minute and a half until the half time whistle Wales inside the 22 they get a penalty Mike Phillips the only one who wanted to tap and go nobody else with him and I think that just speaks volumes about where Wales are at physically at the moment advantage being played to Wales Amos breaks the gap oh good tackle I thought he was through a green hand comes out Mike Phillips again looks for support inside him taken by Jarvis ball to clear out Phillips there wants it quickly and the crowd won another score before the half time whistle here is Hook Williams floating past to Tipperick Tipperick tries to go on the outside of Zebo. tackle goes in from the monster man Wales still have it and Ireland having to defend better finish from Wales than anything we've seen in the previous 39 minutes still there hook once more the try scorer Hibbard tackle goes in from Jonica Ryan Jake Ball the crowd given something to shout about it's taking an age ball in behind for Walker where's this gonna bounce Walker we're gonna go upstairs the crowd think he scored he thinks he scored well let's see what the cameras say well that, I tell you that's some finish if it's valid they gotta check this one have a look is this down oh no has he has he maintained contact with the ball all the way to the floor here downward pressure isn't the issue no I think he's lost that he's lost that ball No try, says Graham Hughes. Glenn Jackson blows the half-time whistle. It's been a half that Ireland have been completely dominant for the last five minutes, and Wales got a try back to Richard Hare. Otherwise, it's been he slip.
Darren Cave, Keith Earls and Jackson's penalties in the halftime score at the Millennium Stadium is Wales 7, Ireland 25, the second half after this break. To everyone entering that competition, clean line up for Wales and try and get a shove on. Ireland hold them. Okay, no change there whatsoever, so they go out the backs and Williams takes his eye off and it's another spill ball. And Keith Earls was away, but uh, referee said Ireland knocked it on second, so we'll go back for the scrum. Yeah, and hard to know whether it's a, a question of uh, nerves or jitters. And Scott Williams, such a powerful player, and of course installed as captain of the Welsh team, but he had the eye off the ball. He could see him eyeing up and scanning the uh, Irish defence. And that split second, well, the possession was lost. He's of controls at the back. Jackson launches the Gary Owen. Over the halfway line, Ireland come up in a line to try and make the hit. Tommy O'Donnell lets it go. Jamie Heaslip is there to make that tackle. And Phillips to Hibbard. Looking for numbers on the blind side. And Phillips again. The ball. It's like rugby in slow motion at the moment. Very deliberate stuff from Wales, but they need to inject some pace into this. Try and get through that back line. Oh, Tyler Morgan can't hold on to it. Felix Jones is there. Simon Zebo thought about the handoff, gets a tackle, which would look pretty high from here from Moriarty. Tommy O'Donnell, strong handoff from him. It was high. Referee's playing advantage, and Simon Zebo is in a bit of pain down there. That was my initial reaction was that it was high. Here you see it, Ralph. Look at six for Wales there. Moriarty, that's a forearm to the head. Yeah, well, I think, I'm not sure that there was uh, malicious intent there. I think uh, Zebo was falling from the first tackle. Uh, he did catch him, there's no question about that. Well, it's going to be a yellow card for Moriarty. Well, I think that's a bit harsh, you know. He, there was certainly no intent. And uh, he's paying well, the harshest price you can pay. To go to the back and it's Jordy Murphy takes it at the second attempt and he did well to hang on there I can tell you he was coming back towards ground Zebo tries to go through the middle Falatau puts him down Jordy Murphy Redden to Heaslip back inside to Rickard Strauss pumps the legs Strauss trying to go needs a bit of help now Dominic Day to hold him up the big second row Ireland still have it Heaslip again scored Ireland's first try and they're what, 8-9 metres short of getting the first of the second half dummy from Jackson buries the head, Faladzau got across well to make a hit, nobody on the blind side so Owen Redden, now there is with Zebo, but he gops for Henderson tries to hand off, Ian Henderson still going to Zebo. any room for him, needs to hit the ground here he's going to be put into touch he does get it down, where's that ball, it's gone into touch and it'll be a line out well, it seems every time Ireland run at Wales, they get acres of ground. And Wales fully stretched there. And Ireland actually get the put into the line out here, so obviously Zebo managed to get rid of it just before he went into touch. Scott Williams, I think, and uh, Justin Tipperick ripped it off him. That was the break from Richard Strauss to set up the whole move for Ireland. And They'll fancy themselves from a mall here. Absolutely, and uh, surely a set-piece move from the training ground. Donica Ryan, happy to set it. Ireland get the shoulders down, and they get tight, and it's at the back with Rickard Strauss as they shove their way towards that line. Can they be stopped from here? Well, Hibbert's trying to. He did a pretty good job. Was it legal? Yes, says the referee. Now they have to leave it. Still there for Redden. Plenty of options. Henderson, all he has to do is flop over the line if he gets this ball. Redden, Wales are offside. He steps out wide. So too Darren Cave. They go blind. Simon Zebo. It is a try. Easy as you like. 
Well, you've just said it. Too easy altogether, Zebo. And again, it's down that short side that Wales seemed to be lackluster in defending. And uh, while it was relentless pressure from them all, it was Zebo gets in in the corner, and uh, it was always coming. There's no question of that. Wales desperate to try and in an offside position as well. And uh, Zebo, well, simple finish for him. Presented on a plate from Tommy O'Donnell. First try of the second half, as it was in the first, goes to Ireland. Rob Evans takes his first hit of the game. Sheprick's put down by Jordy Murphy. In over the ball. Has to let it go. Williams only as far as Christian Daisy. Anscombe. Morgan. No room for him. He's been stopped every time he's had the ball. A couple of times his own mistake with the knock on. But uh, really hasn't got the time or the space that he would have hoped for a, a test debut. Heaslip looks for support, gets it as well for Mike Ross. Owen Redden, Jackson wants it on the right, three on two on the... They can straighten up here, Jordy Murphy gives the pass. McFadden trying to stay on his feet, put down by Dominic Day and back for the Leinster scrum half to his teammate. And Strauss into contact. Johnny Ryan tries to drop that shoulder, stops in his tracks though. Ireland lining up on the left, Jackson. To Darren Cave, good strength from him. He's had a good game, Darren Cave, today, including a try. Zebo, any room for him? The pass is brilliant! Felix Jones on the end of it, but what a pass from Simon Zebo, Ralph Keith. Smashing bit of skill from the wing, spotted the, the gap outside and just floated a beautiful pass. And Jones, well, runs onto it. All he had to do was gather it in the basket. But good play again from Rickard Strauss, showing no ill effects from the earlier knocks he took. Donica Ryan again putting in a, a good shift to work this afternoon and it's just a question of turnovers all day and what a pass here from Zebo. plenty of pace on it, always going to get there and uh, uh, Ireland really putting Wales to the sword now A gift for Jones made and created by a brilliant pass from Simon Zebo. scored one, made one, not bad Well, you wonder what Sean Edwards and Rob Howley and Warren Gatlin are thinking now. What have they learned from this? Maybe more about who not to pick than anything else. Maybe they're all suffering from sunstroke after training in 40 degrees for three weeks in Qatar for a World Cup in the autumn in England. Decent kick from Marmion. Look at that. Morgan takes it on himself. Now, we've seen him run the pitch a few times for his club. He gives the pass away. He went forward. Otherwise, Felix Jones was in. Cuthbert. Tackle goes in from Dan Tui. Big one as well. Good hit for the Ulster second round. Now, bit of space perhaps. Anscombe again. Walker comes onto it. Lovely pass to Tipperick. He's got one outside. Beautiful stuff. Morgan steps back inside. Amos. Oh, Tipperick. This is brilliant from Wales. And it's brilliant from Justin Tipperick. They get their reward for a piece of ingenuity, I suppose. Basketball like keeping that ball alive. And Tipperick jots down. Well, that's a brilliant bit of play from well, one of their most experienced internationals, Tipperick. And they go wide here. And uh, there's a bit of pace injected but what beautiful hands here from chipper again not content just to pass it on he stays as the trail runner uh, until he gets the pass and well the Irish defense could do very little about that in the end but brilliant play from the welsh here walker involved injecting that pace and here hands brilliantly executed and there to receive the pass again and uh, dances merry way across the irish line Ball squirts out the side, did it go forward? Well, Ireland, look, they've, they've got their hands on it. Wales told to leave it there from Marmion. Jackson standing deep. 
Got Madigan outside him. Here he is. Maybe fancies a little break, a little show and go from Ian Madigan. Over the halfway line. Any help in whatsoever. McFadden is there. Quick ball needed. Marmion struggling to get it out. Kilcoyne takes two in. Marmion again wants it. Madigan calling for it. He made that break. Lovely pass to put into space. Jordy Murphy. Zebo. Felix Jones comes back inside. Tackled by Amos. And they're inside the Wales 22. Ireland pushing for another try. Madigan. Any space in the middle? There is. Almost got through. Credit to Rob Evans who closed that gap. Albeit a little bit late. Jackson. Best. Thought about the pass. Marmion again. Better from Ireland. Finishing the last five minutes and hoping for another try. Murphy. Best. Marmion again. Tommy O'Donnell tries to go. Oh, did he drop that ball? The touch to the inner side must have seen it. He did. And he tells Glenn Jackson that the ball did indeed go forward. That's what they're there for. Here's Morgan. Suicide pass. We'll go back to the scrum. Well, I think the scrum is not what we need at this point in time. They've been under the cosh in that position. Tommy O'Donnell, no down injured as well. Doesn't look too comfortable. Look, let's have a look at it here, well, Ralph. Here it is. He gets in behind and in, in the attempt to try and recover the ball there. You're Bang. right. And it's down on the elbow he goes. And whether that right shoulder mm. is the problem. Is it his shoulder or, or is his knee? Well, his knee. He landed on his knee as well. He's holding his knee. He's in yeah. a lot of pain. Worried faces you can see from Jamie Heastup and Richie Murphy on the sideline. And you have to feel for Tommy O'Donnell. Yeah, and a really genuine, sympathetic round of applause from the Welsh majority Welsh crowd here who understand acutely the significance for a player in this position. Amos trying to go through the gap. Marmion brings them down. Quick ball for Williams. On to a pace comes Anscombe. Across comes Dunnock who I'm sure will be delighted to get the 80 minutes under his belt as well. Walker spins out of one. Rory Best hanging on to him for dear life. Wales trying to finish with a flourish here in the Millennium Stadium and give the crowd that are still left something to cheer about as they head for the exit. Williams again, Ireland come through. Advantage being played to Wales. Evans. Williams goes right. Moriarty. Anscombe. They're queuing up, it should be Cuthbert. Try for Wales. Well, Warren Gatlin will be delighted with, it, with the reaction of his team in the final 20 minutes. Given the gulf between the sides, you wouldn't have thought they'd have kept Ireland scoreless in the last quarter, but they've done just that, and they've bounced back into the match, never gave up, they didn't roll over, and that alone will be worth the afternoon for Warren Gatlin and his management team. Here was the pass from Anscombe, spotted the mismatch, quite similar to what Simon Zebo did for Felix Jones for his try. And the result is Cuthbert to touchdown and bring Wales tally to 19. Last kick of the match will go to Anscombe. Good strike, brilliant kick. He does finish with two points for Wales. Well, four tries in the second half, two for either team, but five in total for Ireland. And what was overall a dominant display from Joe Schmidt's side. Well, a decent afternoon's work for Ireland in their first World Cup warm-up match. Final score at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, Wales 21, Ireland 35. I'm really